Hey guys, uh, standing in front of my 2016 Dodge Ram Bighorn. Uh, I'm gonna show or be sharing with you. I'm doing today, I got some new emblems. Um, this truck was this truck was wrecked, and someone had fixed the fender or swapped the fender out. So they ended up not putting the Hemi badge back on on the driver's side which I don't know about you guys, but I like the Hemi better than the 1500 that's on the door here in Chrome, depending on what you have. But um, yeah, I swapped out the wheels and tires in this truck and they're, they're black and got a little bit of machine finish to them. So I thought I might as well go with black. There's quite a bit of black on this truck <clears throat> and I like the blackout look a little better, so. These don't quote me 100% yet, but I'll put a description and the price I paid and I'll tag the uh, seller or I'll just put a, a link for these exact uh, Hemi 5.7 liter badges. They're identical minus the, these letters or letters and numbers are raised. So I think that's cooler. Um, I got my heat gun here, but I want to keep this emblem on here because it's going to help me do my measuring for the other side because there isn't one. Um, before I move, remove this one though, I'll go ahead and show you a little trick I'm going to do here. <clears throat> also I got my Windex ready. And in fact, I'm just going to clean this right now under here because it's real dirty. I'll clean it again before I put the badge on, but really there was a lot of crud up underneath this badge that I wanted to get out of here. Okay, so now that that's wiped off, I'm going to take my masking tape. it right there that's gonna give me a perfect template um, I also can put it put one on the side here there's gonna be an imprint of where the old one is and I'm just gonna run with that one so let's get to uh, what we're gonna do on the other side here I'm gonna be taking my measurements and writing them down and I'm going to go off of the side to side and I'm going to probably go off of this line right here. That there is about six inches and a sixteenth, six and a sixteenth of an inch. So I'm going to go over there. I'm going to write this down and measure right here and put my badge on over on that side. All right, so for a lot of you guys, this is going to be pretty straightforward because the badge is going to leave a mark on where it was before and you should be able to put it directly over it. You could probably even get away with cleaning a little bit. This stuff's pretty strong and adhesive, so I wouldn't worry about going too crazy with the cleaning. Um, I did pull measurements on the other side, though, for my um, install. You're just going to want to use glass cleaner on this. Nothing with a, too heavy of a chemical. And you're going to have to wash it off. I found that Windex works really good when applying any kind of decal or sticker. Gets it nice and uh, clean. Okay. So now I'm just going to pull my measurements. My handy dandy dad tape measure sorry if you guys don't have one of those maybe you'll get one kids are pretty cool okay so i pulled from this body line here six and a sixteenth so i'm just gonna 
this is where this tape is going to really become handy for me. And if you have a truck you really care about, you're probably not going to do what I'm doing and put the metal part right on it. It's kind of hard to do this. It's a bit easier with two people. Okay. A little high up there. Pretty happy with that. What I found is over there the body lines a little different. Um, so if you try to measure off one or the other, it's going to give you a false. I'm going off of the top here. So I actually goofed. And I need to put, well, I'm going to do since that's where I want it. I'm just going to put a new piece of tape here, but the emblem is going to sit directly underneath this here. So my emblem is going right here. And I also measured... I measured an inch and three eighths over from the top up here. So if you go down here, it'll throw it off quite a bit. So an inch and three eighths. Really, I should have a pin to mark this, but don't. Inch and three eighths. So I'm pretty confident with that. And this should be about an inch and a half down here. So let's see what that gave me. Perfect. So I have an inch and a half down here and an inch and three eighths up here. My emblem is going to sit right there. Again, this isn't rocket science. Well, I don't know if I told you that, but I say that in a lot of my videos. But you're going to hold it up here before you even take it out of the pack and make sure that that looks like a kindergartner didn't whack it on there. I actually think that it wouldn't look bad up there even, but I don't want it to look non-factory, so. Well, I just noticed there's a dent right there. Right here. Huh, I'll be darned. Okay, well. Pull this out of the pack. Oh shoot, I better grab this. Something I didn't like on there. Pretty straightforward here. 
Just don't touch the adhesive part. Looks like a good gripper. Okay. Looks of that. Get this tape off here. That one's done. Nice to push on there. Oh yeah, I like that a lot better. All right, we're gonna move on to the next one. All right. We're gonna take this out here. Before I forget, I have another video up on how to remove badges and uh, I actually take off some badges back on the tailgate and uh, the 1500 RAM badges because I just thought those looked pretty cheesy. These semi badges though, however, I think they look pretty sick, pretty mean. So I don't think there's a reason to get rid of them. I think the truck looks bare without them. And plus, if you got a Hemi, why not represent? I'm gonna use this putty knife it's for Bondo, but it doesn't burn the tar out of your fingers. A lot of that glue stayed on there. This black stuff comes off easiest if you just roll it with your finger. actually make a tool that removes adhesive if you put it on a drill but I just haven't broke down and bought something like that yet so I use the old school method here Alright, so it was a combination of the tape and I was able to leave the top line of the Hemi. I'm going to be able to now put this exactly back where it was when it was factory, just like that. Alright, I got it on guys. Both of them anyway. I think that looks pretty solid. She's just ready for a bath now. Hey, thanks for watching.